Hey guys, I want to tell you about a, a new product I saw from Fantic. It's a uh, cordless soldering iron. Uh, here it is. This is the Fantic, uh, what is this? The next T1 Max. So let's uh, unbox this and uh, see what's in the package. And uh, I think we'll charge it up and uh, see if we can uh, test it out here at the lab. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so let's um, open this up and uh, see what's in the contents, and uh, we'll charge this thing. And then uh, I've got a board here that I need to put a connector back on, so we'll uh, see how that works. Let's, uh, let's get this open. All right, so what do we got here? Dun, dun, dun. All right, so here's the packaging. Fantic, here's the uh, instructions. So it looks like we got a couple of pieces. Um, Fantex really cool. I have some of their other products, and um, their packaging and, and like the durability and quality of these products is really good. Uh, the other stuff that they make. Let's see what we got in here. Also, this is like this. This is like the stand. All right. That's cool. Let's see right down the middle of it. Let's just pull everything out. Oh, little bits. So there's a pair of tweezers. Whatever, whatever these are. We'll leave those in the box. What else we got in here? What is this? So we got looks like sponges and some other kind of sponges. All right. So, let's see here. I'm guessing this piece is probably the base. Uh, let's see. Open this up. Okay. What do we got here? Yep, that's the base. Okay. Oh, interesting. That must, oh, that's for the thing. Okay, so looks like there's some screws that maybe we have to bolt in. Oh, no, it's, look at that, it's magnetic. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. Okay, what else we got here? I don't know what this is. This is, is this the, the solder sucker? Is that what this is? Oh, man, even their solder suckers are nice. Look, these are the kind you... You know, you push it in, and then you... Now that's actually kind of nice, that's neat. And this must be the actual iron itself. Okay. Oh, it's already got some heft to it. Ah, look at this thing. Oh, cool. You see here, it's got, you turn it to what, you know, the temperature you desire. I usually do stuff at like, 750. Uh, let's see. Power this on. Ah, USB C. Okay. All right, that's what I figured. So, oh, there we go. It's blinking. Uh, interesting. Well, we probably need to find the, um, the tips. Let me do that and uh, we'll come back and we will solder this connector onto the board here. Hang on, we'll be right back. I was like, where are the tips? It says, tips are inside. Look at this. What? Look at that. How cool is that? You guys see that? All right, let me pick one and we'll, we'll charge this thing and then we'll get this thing set up. Hang on. All right, guys, while we wait for the uh, iron to charge, let's take a look at these, these tips. Man, this is a pretty like a bent angle, fine tip. We've got fine tip straight. And we've got some kind of chisel tip. 
interesting. Some other kind of chisel tip. Now, I do have to say, I use a uh, Heiko. This is, uh, what is this, the uh, FX100. And you can see this is probably my most commonly used tip. Uh, kind of a wide tip. I have other tips, but so it looks like that's like maybe the one thing that we're missing. Uh, we'll go, I'll go back and look. Um, Cause, but these I would definitely say are for really fine uh, work. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll come back after whatever we're done charging. All right, guys. So uh, the light goes solid white when it's charged. So uh, let's put in the, uh, the soldering iron tip. You're supposed to loosen this a little bit. Then stick this down in there somehow. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, then it says hand tighten. And then we already set the temperature. Push and hold for three seconds. And it should go red. Then it'll go solid green um, when it's ready. Let's see here. Nothing. Okay. So it looks for the tip when it starts up. Ah, there we go. I had to push a little extra. Extra. Okay. Three seconds. Okay. So we got our light. And you see it's red. Okay. So it's heating up, supposedly. Oh. Dang. All right. Woo. Wait for it. Okay. Now uh, we should be able to put this in here. All right. And let's get our board. Let me uh, move this off to the side here. Like that. And then here's our board. Let's, uh, let's zoom way in. All right, guys, sorry if it's a little uh, fuzzy here. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's get in here, do the best I can. Sorry if the picture's a little blurry. It's kind of hard with the setup I have here. All right. That's better. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. Well, it gets plenty hot. It uh, works pretty good, as far as I can tell. This could definitely, if you needed to, this could solder um, surface mount components. For sure. Let's see here. Okay. It's a little tricky because of the Way that I've got things here. Let's see. Turn it just a little bit more. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, let me zoom you back out here. Overall, I'd say that it's n it's not bad. The tip's pretty uh, pretty small. You know, one thing I noticed is that you can see that like it kind of looks like it got overheated. Let me uh, let me pull my uh, the phone out of the stand here. Hang on a second. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't really see it now. Hang on, let's turn this thing on. Uh, I'm kind of... The only thing I'm kind of worried about is that the tip was glowing red. You see how blue it is? See how blue the tip is? Let's see if it shows in the dark now. You can see that this tip was glowing 
red hot. I'm trying to get in the dark so you can see it here. Yeah, you see that? You see it's starting to turn turn red. Look at that thing. So that's a little concerning. Uh, I don't know what the deal with that is, but anyways, like I said, let's uh, let me stop the video and uh, we'll give you my final thoughts on this thing. Hang on a second. All right, guys. So um, interesting product. Uh, the only thing that has me kind of skeeved down was that uh, the tip glowing red here. I don't, ugh, I don't know. That would leave me kind of questioning it. Um, it does do what it uh, looks like it was designed to do, although kind of sketchy with the the thing glowing red like that. Um, I've never seen a soldering iron tip do that. Um, so, will it replace your Heiko FX100 soldering station? No, I don't think so. But you know, when you when you're under the dash of the Ranger or working on a bike or something, uh, it'd be good. But remember, I mean, you know, with the with the temperature controls on here, you know, I, I didn't I didn't know 750 degrees was the surface of the sun. I guess I, I don't know. Anyways, can I recommend it? I don't know. They didn't send me this. I I purchased this outright because uh, I like Fantic products and you know I thought it would be useful. So. Uh, take it for what it is. Uh, I'm gonna play around with it. Maybe I'll do a a, a review um, another time. You know, like an update. So, all right, guys. Thanks for coming along, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, easy.